What's up guys, welcome to Apex and welcome to another exciting video. In today's video, we are gonna talk about a brand new feature released by Google for Google Search. Now Google has integrated Gemini into Google Search, which means we now have Gemini on Google Search, but it is not Gemini application. I'm sure you are confused. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Now you can open Google search by tapping on this Google search bar or you can directly go to Google application and open it. Let me tap on Google search here. Now you can see this is the page you're gonna see. This is the search page and you've got all the other news and other information below. And on the top left corner, you can see the labs icon here. Now this might show up if you are a Google beta user or it might show up on the stable version also. You can tap on this labs icon and here we go. We've got this latest feature. It says introducing the AI model experiment, a new search experiment that uses advanced reasoning, thinking, and multimodal capabilities from Gemini 2.0 to answer even your toughest questions. Now you can go ahead and turn this on to get Gemini integration on your Google search. Now you can go ahead and turn this on, but before that, let me just show you, let me just scroll through this. It says new experiments, AI model, be the first to try the AI model experiment in Google search, get AI powered responses. Uh, you can turn this on as well. And then we have got other AI experiments and some more experiments here. You can go ahead and explore all this. But in this video, let's focus on the AI mode on Google search. Let me go ahead and turn this on and here you go. Now let me tap on try AI mode. Now you can see this is the Google search page which we already had and on the top, you can see AI mode is mentioned here. And then we have got all images, videos, news, maps, etc. But now we have got AI mode right here. We can ask anything to Google and it is going to answer and Gemini is going to answer your questions right here. Let me just search something here. How tall is Burj Khalifa? As you can see, it's a very nice animation that you get here. It's a brand new one. Let me do this again. How tall is Burj Khalifa? As you can see, it has given me the results and I can further ask anything about this. We have got the search bar at the bottom. I can follow up with this question. How wide is the structure? Now the problem here I see is, uh, I thought it is going to uh, answer the follow-up questions. It is not answering the follow-up question. When I asked how wide is the structure, it just went away from Burj Khalifa and it started answering uh, something else. It says determine the width of a structure depends on the specific context and how it's being measured and all that. Uh, so I don't think we'll be able to get the follow-up question answers, but yeah, we have got the AI mode now right here on Google search. Now, let me show you what happens when we search without the AI mode here. How tall is Burj Khalifa? The Burj Khalifa is 828 meters tall. Now this is how we get the results. And uh, we have got the website here, which is Wikipedia. And then we have got a few other questions here and images and all that. This is our usual search. And now let me tap on AI mode. This is how the AI mode will give you the results. We've got six sites from which it has fetched the information. As you can see, all these sites are available on the top. And in, when you scroll down, you will get this results right here. Now this was already there. We could actually get the AI results, the Gemini's uh, results right there in this mode as well. Now Google seems to have separated it and uh, put it under AI mode. So we have got a separate AI mode for this. Now let me just ask, what is AI mode on Google search? There we go. It says in Google search, AI mode is a powerful AI driven search experience that provides comprehensive and detailed answers to complex and nuanced questions. And the animation that you see when we tap on this search again and try to search something over here, this is the animation that you get. But on app on the iPhones, it is slightly different. Let me show you that. Even on the iPhone, this is available. Let me open the Google search over here. And now I am on AI mode. You can see when I tap on the mic button here, how is the weather today? You see, it's a slightly different animation that you get and you get this cool uh, gradient bar as well there, which is pretty cool. Let me try this again. How far is New York from London? So 
So that's a cool animation that we see on the iPhones, which is slightly different from the Android phone. Now, let me tell you that this feature is available for free. Uh, it's available for everyone. It is not a pro uh, feature. As you can see, we also have this brand new search icon. Once you enable this on Labs, you will get this brand new search icon over here, and uh, you'll be able to directly tap on that to uh, talk to AI on Google app itself. And you can also see the history over here. When I tap on the AI mode history, it will give you all the search history right here. So what this means is we now don't really have to go to Gemini application and talk to it. If you prefer using Google search instead of Gemini, then this AI mode is going to be very, very useful for you guys. And like I said, it is not a pro feature. I'm able to see this on any of my Google accounts. And let me also show you the latest uh, Google application version here. It's 16.24.68 uh, VE dot uh, ARM64. So uh, that is the latest version that we have. And if you want to explore more, you can tap on labs and check out more experimental features right here on the search labs on Google application. Let me know whether you have got this feature on your device, drop a comment. And uh, do you prefer using this or do you prefer Gemini? Do share your thoughts in the comment section below. That's all I want to share with you guys. I hope you have already downloaded the Volvo's application. Uh, the wallpaper that you see here on my home screen is from Volvo's and there are some beautiful looking wallpapers which are recently updated on the application. The interface has been updated with uh, the swipe to uh, search wallpaper and there are some new wallpapers are also added recently. That's about it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel. Do not forget to hit the like button as well. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.